We have a unique theme this year. It's called the Farmageddon. It kind of came up. We were hoping to do kind of a campy fun thing, bring back a little bit of scare to uh, the place. So we broke it down into three different sections. We, we now have the human survivalists who own the house. We have the outside people, kind of road warrior-like. Uh, we call them, dubbed them the savages. Third class is the mutants. We're not quite there yet, but there's a pretty good scene in here at night. You'll just have to come and check it out. So we're gonna wait, this is the first holding hall. This is gonna go into the savages playland. This is uh, this is where they like to, to play around. They, they have gambling in here, they have dancers, they have bar, all your vices, everything that a society gone wrong needs to blow off your scene. Uh, we have a team of artists that come from the Douglas Education Center and they have a makeup effects program. And the students all have a background in face painting, appliance, prosthetics, set fabrication, and prop building. So we're fortunate enough to have a relationship with the school that we can recruit students from there. On a typical night, actors come in after their cast. Uh, first thing we want to do is put them in costume, and then we also want to get their makeup done as fast as possible. Usually our actors come in two to three hours before operations, and that way they're able to get any costume that they have on, and their makeup done and in scene, knowing what to do before the first customers roll through. I am cast as the salty pig as the butcher. I keep and can all of the meat and chase the people off who are trying to steal it. I am trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my scene and the props in order to give the customer the best experience they can have when they come through the house. This is the first glimpse of the house this year. There's a, there's a big armored guard out here that doesn't let you through if you're not suitable and acting proper. After entering through the old catacombs, the foundation of the house. Uh, generally, we start building the haunt around June and we have 90 scenes to accomplish and we always have to tear them out and rebuild them. So it'll take us up to the last day, usually, to complete this. Sometimes we're working on it a week or two after open, just finishing touches and tweaking it just the way we want. This room in particular probably took about a week and a half after repainting, propping, tying down, uh, finding the props, goring the props. And this is just one room, just one little snippet out of this whole place. It's huge. 